Coming up on News 9 at 6. Powering more than just electricity, the Cardinal Power Plant in Brilliant has fueled the town for decades. But after the tax devaluation, the community took a hard hit. Now they're partnering with one community entity to help them stay afloat. News 9 is everywhere. This is News 9 at 6. Cardinal Power Plant serves 1 million customers despite being located in a town around 1,400 people. So how much of that money is coming back to the community, especially after the plant filed for tax devaluation in 2018? News Line's Alex Taylor got some answers. It's been a staple of the Wells Township community for nearly a century. The steam stacks at the Cardinal Power Plant can't be missed. But there's another statement, a partner call it, in the Wells Township community. It's the brilliant fire department, which was incorporated in 1923. This was Ted Plant's truck, and this was the brilliant fire department's truck. Do you know when that photo was taken? Well, that truck was in 1958, so I'm going to assume sometime shortly after that. A relationship that started across Route 7 decades ago. The fire department working side by side with the Cardinal Power Plant since the day it came to town. We have had employees in the past, and we currently have an employee that works um, that works at Cardinal that's also on the volunteer fire department. So that's a you know a connection there. The fire department was awarded a FEMA grant to replace their breathing apparatus for $133,000, but need to supply 5%, and Cardinal stepped in to help. So this money that Cardinal is giving us will be used to that purpose. The partnership, though, took an emotional toll in November of 2018 following Cardinal's tax devaluation, which Buckeye Power says was necessary for the plant to stay competitive and viable. But Wells Township suffered a $690,000 hit in its annual budget. With the tax devaluation, do you guys feel at Cardinal a pressure to help the community because of that? We try, yes, we try to help um, a lot of local agencies. We've given to a lot to, you know, Wells Township, to, you know, the schools in the area, not just the fire department. But, yes, we like to try and keep it local. Um, you know, we have a lot of employees that live in the local area as well. Cardinal officials recognized the blowback in December of 2018 and vied to keep things beneficial to all, not just to Cardinal. We consider ourselves an ingrained member of this community. We're aware of the impact. We want to make sure that we are exploring all the options possible and that we come out, we come out with a decision that is, that is the most beneficial for everyone concerned. Over the last four years, they've donated $7,900 back to Wells Township for various needs, like playground equipment for schools, community pools, and today a $1,000 check to the fire department. We expressed the need and they stepped forward. Despite this community partnership, which has been working since the initial devaluation, the fire chief says in the future they may need additional help from the community. Reporting in Brilliant for News 9, I'm Alex Taylor. Cardinal is still in talks with the state of Ohio, and a date for the official approval or denial of the tax reduction has not been set.